Magic Trilogy. Hello and welcome to LogicTrilogy.com. Today we're going to look at a new feature in the Logic 9 sampler which is called Flex Time. This allows you to quantize audio tracks just like you would be able to quantize MIDI but this is for audio and this is something like how we do it. Firstly I've selected a pre-recorded drum track of which I've made into a, a loop. It's something like this. that. Right, the first job I've got to do is I haven't got a clue what speed or tempo the, the original drum track was made at, if it was indeed made to a click at all. So the first thing we've got to do is, is try and figure out what the speed is. And we do this, there is a neat feature in, in the um, Logic sampler, in the inserts, which is a BPM counter. And you will find that in the metering and if we insert that and we'll put the loop on the track and play it and hopefully it will tell us what speed we're playing at. Okay, as you can see it's come up and told us it's 86.8 beats per minute. So now if we don't need that anymore, what we need to do is we will change our tempo in the sampler to 87 because that's the nearest rounded up figure. As we can see by the loop settings there, it's actually a two bar loop now which is running at 87 BPM and it should cycle itself nicely. no glitches or anything like that. So now the next job is to turn on the flex time and just see how far out we are. So if, if I first go to my mixer and I will create put the put all the tracks into a group. Like so. So now at the moment whatever I do to one will happen to everything else. Okay, and we turn on the flex time, which is the tab at the top. So it has changed what we haven't now. And then if we select slicing, I tend to use slicing for drums, and then um, the other settings really speak for themselves. For, for, a, for a chordal type sound, you'd use polyphonic and, and monophonic for sort of bass sounds and things like that. We'll use for drums, I'll use slicing. And that, you can see, has changed the change the colour of the tracks and you can see little transient markers on the different tracks actually different detecting the points you sometimes see more transient markers than it actually needs um, so what we've got to do is actually check the tracks individually and change the sensitivity of the algorithms and we do this by clicking double clicking the track and turning on the transient markers you can see there that there is there is there is a certain degree of bleed from from what would be the snare which is fine and not a problem because you don't want that to sound different to the other track and then we'll check the snare track and as you can see on that one, there, there is no actual real audio in the where the kick would have been recorded from the mic bleed. So what I'm going to do is change the sensitivity by clicking the minus button. And hopefully we will get rid of some of these extra transients that we don't need. So we're just literally moving the snare. That's now correct. Okay. Um, and we'll have to probably do the same for the snare bottom as well. Just check that. 
and that's actually fine. Okay, so we'll get rid of our sample editors, we don't need it anymore. Just want to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it better. Okay. Actually, if you just notice that on the snare bottom mic, it's it has got the it has picked up the kick. So we need to go in and readjust that again. And perhaps put put the make the sensitivity of the transients a bit higher and bring them back in for that one track. Otherwise you'll find that you will hear snare hits that aren't actually there. They'll be in a different place when we move all the other tracks. Right, now what I'm going to do is we'll go into our inspector. And you can see at the top there we have got a quantize. And if we quantize it, we will quantize it to eight notes, I think, for the time being, and we'll see what happens. And you see that's only done the one track. But we have got to do it on all the other tracks as well. And the simple way of doing that, I would think, is to highlight all of the tracks and then set it to eighth note. And it has made the changes. So you can see the tra the colours have changed. Um, if it goes to green, it means it's shrunk the area. If it goes to orange, it means it has extended the area. And let's have a listen to it. Let's use the sample editor and see how it sounds. Do that with the click. And that works quite well. It's all sounding nice, it's all fitting in place. And now that we've got everything in time, what we need to do is actually bounce out the the track, but firstly, um, before we do that, we really need to go into the mix and just set some levels so they sound reasonably okay. And to do this, we need to actually ungroup everything again, otherwise, it whatever changes you make, it will change to make a change to all of them. So, what I'm going to do is press play and just quickly mix this. Okay, now our drums are reasonably in time. Incidentally, you can go in and, and manually edit the transients if you need, if you wish to, and you can see that your mouse is, is changed. And you can you can push and pull these around. Um, and in this case, I'm not. Um, so I'm quite happy with everything like this. So I'll undo that and put everything back to how it was. Okay, now we bounce out the track bounce out all the tracks so we can get them onto one track and we will call it rock drums one and it will go into bounces and everything make sure it's had some audio beer and more time and turn the flex time off so it's out of the way I'm going to uh, pull in the bounced track and so we can go to MIDI library and YouTube bin and rock drum C that rock drums one is there and if we put that in a new track and it's all bounced onto one track I will mute all of the others Just before I do any more, I'm just going to add a little overall reverb to it. And I will use the lexicon plate. Okay, I'm not going to involve something, it's going to be very subtle, very short. OK, 
okay now that that's done I'm happy with the reverb obviously you can do more edits if you want to to create your drums sounds how you want them um, but I will leave it reasonably open so that I can edit them more as and when I want to use them um, so now it's just a case of control click in the track and it will be there will be a add to Apple loops library and click that and there's I'm going to keep it as rock drum one is going to play it as a loop so that we can extend it if we want to I'm going to keep it a single um, I'm going to put it in all drums and uh, uh, let's click genre rock blues um, and click create let's add a bit to the apples loop browser done now it should be in my loops browser let's see if we can find it it's gone to all drums and somewhere within it's going to be in the armory so okay and there's rock drums <laughs> And there you have the flex time with drums. Magic Trilogy.